I'm far overdue for an update video, so I wanted to give you a little idea of where things are at on the channel. These are always fun for me to just kind of like reflect on the last few months. In this case, quite a few months, because I think the last time I, I really talked about the channel, where things are at, was back when I was giving my goals for the year, where I wanted to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, how I wanted to grow this channel, make it more profitable, get some exciting content out, really focus down. And I think I've done all that stuff, which is great. There's always more you can do. And so look at this type of video as a learning lesson and also just an update video in general. So let's get right into it. I don't want to waste too much of your time on this video. But in the beginning of this year, I stated that I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're close to 90,000. I have a little less than three and a half months to get there. With your help, we could make it happen. Just share the video around. It doesn't have to be on social media even, but just like with friends, family, whoever, a colleague at work, say, hey, if you love movies, just check this guy out. He's pretty funny and he's always honest. So please throw a subscribe his way. It's free on YouTube and he's out there making videos basically crying because he needs more. It's, it's, it's honestly pathetic. I feel bad for the guy, so throw him a sub, please, just to make him stop. The big goal of mine for this year was to really focus on movie reviews and spoiler videos. So I would watch a movie, I would review it, and then a few days later, I would do a spoiler video on it, based, of course, on the trajectory of that video before. If I did a review and I didn't see it performing that well, it doesn't make sense to do a spoiler video. But something like Trap, which people really enjoyed my review on, yeah, you give people what they want. So I made a spoiler video on that. I even made a third video. I was, I was testing things with a new format. It had pros and cons. It didn't work as well as I wanted. So I'm actually gonna walk away from it, but we'll get there in a second. So anyway, my main focus, movie reviews. I was giving two a week at least, sometimes three, occasionally four, because there's so many streaming movies. And that's gonna be a goal moving forward is to watch more streaming films and maybe not go to the movies as much if it's not something I think is going to do well and I don't have interest in watching it. A good example would be this week actually, there's a new movie called Killer's Game with Dave Bautista and a few other actors. I was planning on doing a double feature with Speak No Evil and that one. Well, the second movie didn't start until 10.05 on a Thursday night and I have a full-time job. That's a really late night for me because that means I'm not getting home till one in the morning. And then I have to get up at like six, 6.30. I go to the gym with my family. I have a full-time morning job that takes me to the afternoon. And then I do the show, eat dinner with the family, hang out. Like there's just, there's not enough time in the day to do everything I wanna do. And no, if you're asking, I'm not even remotely close as far as revenue on this channel to offset what I make at my full-time job. That's not happening anytime soon, maybe ever, <laughs> so unless, unless we're putting up really impressive numbers. Not, not saying it can't happen, but it, it just, it, the payout on YouTube is pretty bad, which is what I would segue into. Please think about becoming a member on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Not only do you get access, even at a dollar, to the 300 exclusive videos there, you also get vlogs every month. And I'm gonna to get to that in a second, but I have some really cool vlogs coming up I'm excited to share with you. That's going to be for Patreon members. And it, it kind of stacks. So if you're a $5 member, you get a vlog. If you're a 10, you get an extra one. If you're a 30, you get all three, sort of a thing. And these are just insights into what's going on in my life. Sometimes it's a bonus review that I never released on the channel that I went back and edited. Sometimes it's something I just watched recently and wanted to talk about. I went over the Blade movies with my son Connor. We watched those together. I did a video a month or so back on Kung Fu Hustle. And then there's vlogs on my trips to Universal Studios and things like that, just really fun videos. But let's get back on course with the roadmap. So again, going to the theaters, typically watching two movies a week on the Thursday night showings. If there's something I'm interested in, in the case of Killer's Game, I didn't think it was worth my time. The movie didn't look very good. I'm kind of sick of that whole action shtick they're doing. And I didn't think people were that interested in it. So instead, I offset that by watching whatever is trending on Netflix. Even if it's absolute shit, it's easy, it's right there in front of me. If I don't like the movie, I'll get a good sense of it within 35, 40 minutes, and then I can at least give a review based on that knowledge. Because bottom line is most movies that are on streamers exclusively are garbage. They just really are. Not saying there's not good ones, there are some really good ones. But for the most part, it's shovelware. It's the DVD at the bottom or top shelf of the old movie rental places that you don't, you've never heard of it. 
it exists. It might have like Mel Gibson or someone random in it, but it's a payday for that person and nothing more. So again, still doing at least two movie reviews a week, still doing a spoiler review almost every week. And then I've been doing live streams pretty consistently on Tuesday nights. And on top of that, I've been having people on the live streams. It's not just me. Usually I'm getting two or three people to join, sometimes four. And they've been a lot of fun the last couple weeks, even though I still have to deal with my shitty internet provider and all the stuff that comes with that. We're making it fun and we're having fun. And then there's the last piece of material, which has always been the awkward one for me. There's reviews, there's spoiler videos, there's live streams. These are what you can find in almost every single movie channel. That's what you do, right? You, you review the film. What separates me outside of attempting to be humorous, trying to make you laugh? Well, I had rants that I did that I still plan on doing occasionally, depending on if there's a big movie news story or something. But I also had the movie roasts. And these were really fun. They're my favorite videos that I've put out. But they didn't get like amazing traction. They didn't put amazing numbers up. However, I've seen new subscribers start to veer towards them more, whether or not YouTube's pushing them more or they're just stumbling on them as they go through the backlog. It's really nice to see comments on some of those videos. I've roasted Twilight, I've roasted Cats, I've roasted the Ghostbusters 2016. They're really fun videos and I actually sit down, I write scripts for them. I, it takes a lot of time to edit these things and I wanna bring them back. So I thought that really kind of encapsulated what I bring to the table on YouTube. Yes, everyone's doing reviews and that stuff, but the roast, that's showcasing some of my comedy, that's showcasing some of you know my over-the-top acting, and it's just going through a movie and having fun talking about it. So you can look forward to more roasts coming soon. The goal is to get at least two of those a month. It would be ideal if I could get three or four, but just realistically speaking, sitting down, watching these movies, writing notes, all that, it takes a while and I just obviously don't have that much of it. Now the biggest announcement would be one that you've probably already heard about if you're watching this video, you probably see the community tab or other things at the end of my video reviews. I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants. That rant channel is not new, but it's like, it's like Linkin Park brand new again. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It's been dormant for years. It used to be called Adam Olinger, and I just put every random fucking thing on there I could think of that I wanted to do. Now it's focused entirely on rant videos. These are comical in nature, first world problems, me bitching about just random stuff that comes to mind that we can mostly all relate to, like how annoying brushing your teeth is or how annoying it is to have to mow your lawn every week or so. I haven't done that one yet, but I'll get there. Um, that's the kind of stuff I wanna do just to make people laugh. There are a lot easier videos for me to make, but obviously the focus is the main channel. And if you've been following both for a while, that's pretty damn clear that I'm focusing most of my energy here because this is the, the revenue channel. This is where my subscribers are at. However, I would really love if you checked out Adam Does Rants and subscribed over there. Those are really fun, funny ass videos, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. And definitely push those around as well because building a channel up from the dead is very tricky, but I think it's still better. And I've had this debate and conversation with other people online in my, you know, kind of orbit. I think it's better than starting from scratch because there still is a small foundation there. Even if some of the walls are broken and things don't make sense where they're at, the foundation is solid. So you wanna build off that rather than starting completely from scratch. You're essentially just waking YouTube back up and that's what I did with this channel, Adam Does Movies. Believe it or not, two years ago, this channel was in the toilet. I was losing subscribers every single time I uploaded a video. There is nothing more disheartening than trying to put out content and seeing subs drop. It's like, oh God damn, this is brutal because I killed my, you know, I shot myself in the foot. Most people know this if they've been following for a while, but this channel, Adam Does Movies, had a lot of different content on it. I was not just doing movie reviews and rants. I had characters. I was doing skit shows like The Cringe, which you can find on uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies. I had like a sitcom type skit show called Movie Boss. It was very dark humor, stupid, also Patreon. I had a show called Movie Feuds where I pit two movies head to head and it was popular. It was getting a lot of views. There's some videos that have over a million and counting. 
but that died down. YouTube changed the algorithm. It didn't like these types of videos anymore. I've had other fellow movie critics ask me or tell me like, hey Adam, I'm thinking of doing a versus thing on my channel. Like, is that okay? Are we cool? I'm like, I don't own the rights to the movie feuds thing or that kind of idea. It's not mine, but yeah, knock yourself out. And I just think in the back of my mind, good luck. Uh, I saw the drop off and I even had a spiritual successor called Real Rivalries over on Screen Rant, that trash fire of a channel that's no longer really doing anything of value. But I was getting paid contract work to come out with episodes of Real Rivalries. I pitched it to them. They loved it. And we couldn't even make it work there with their millions of subscribers. It just wasn't getting traction in the algorithm. And there have been many times where I'm like, God, I should just bring movie feuds back. It was so fun. It was cool to do. They don't work anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what changed, but it is what it is. But the roasts, I think, are just more fun for me to do. And I think people enjoy them when they watch them. In either case, it gives me more of an identity on YouTube. Long story short, the goal hasn't changed. Maybe some of the directions have a little, but not much. Really, it's getting that 100K by the end of the damn year. According to Social Blade, I'm there. I'm like going to hit it at the end of December if we can keep killing it on the channel. Movie reviews, occasional reaction and news stories, and then movie roasts. That's what I'm doing here, plus the live streams. Now, the last thing I'll say before I go is this. There will be no live streams this week um, because I have officially hit midlife crisis and I need to get the fuck out of here. Um, my job has been very taxing in the last like four months, something changed and now I have a ton of work all the time, but it's not like exciting, engaging work. It's like, I'm a short order cook now and I'm just churning out design after design after design. And it's, it, it's burning me out. I mean, I'm talking 30, 40 designs of social media ads, emails, landing pages every single week. It's burning me out. And so I needed to take a week off. So not two days ago, I said to Lindsay, why don't we, why don't we just go to like Disney or something? And she lit up. Everybody in the family here, we're, we're all a little bit claustrophobic. My kids are homeschooled. We, we just need a breather. So we are going to Disney for a few days and we're going to go to Universal, we're going to go to a water park. I I have like secretly stockpiled some revenue thanks to sponsored videos over the last year and a half. I've just been putting them away aside and I'm going to stupidly take that money and we're going to burn it into the ground because we need this. I've said this several times before, but I'm gonna reiterate, we have one shot here on Earth, folks. No matter what you believe, where you're gonna go afterwards, it's irrelevant to me, it's only relevant to you. But, but please, I'm begging you, please cherish and utilize and enjoy the time you have here. No matter what situation you're in, make it work, make friends, make acquaintances and allies that you can lean on from time to time, or that you can utilize that can help you get ahead or move to that next point because doing it on your own is very hard. I've been doing it on my own for a long time. It wasn't until a year or so back where I started reaching out and getting more open with other people in the industry. I've been having people come in now. I've been hearing from actors. I've been hearing from screenwriters. They want to help me. They, they like my stuff. They like me and they want to, they want me to grow. So they send me screenplays. They send me ideas. It's been, fucking amazing. It, it truly has. I, I don't want to get too like <laughs> emotional or sentimental, but it, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster in life and, and everything. All right. Uh, ups and downs, people coming and going, but this has been a consistent for me. This has been a part of my life that has remained constant. Even if I've made a ton of mistakes with it, it's still here. This channel is still my baby and I will always look back on these memories very fondly and the relationships I've made with people like you watching. But, but again, my sage advice is to find a passion that you have and fucking grab it and don't let it go. Even if you screw up, I, I screw up on every video, by the way, I make mistakes, I'm sure you know. I make mistakes on every video. I get locations wrong, I get names wrong. You, you're not gonna be perfect. You're gonna screw up whether you have a hundred viewers or a thousand or a million. There's always gonna be mistakes and there's always gonna be more and more people telling you how much you suck during those times. 
that's fine. At least you're being noticed and at least your stuff is getting in front of people, which means, hey, five people hate it. There's 50 people over here that are smiling. You're making them laugh. You gave them some excitement in their day. And there's people that do that for me as well. I have pre-filmed several videos that I'm going to be editing all day. It's a Saturday as I'm doing this for the channel. So there's going to be at least three or four that'll roll out. Hopefully one or two for the second channel, Adam Does Rants. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to shut everything off and I'm going to just be with my family and have fun. And yes, I'm going to Disney. I know. No better place to spend your money, right? But we, we have fond memories there and Universal Studios. That's like our favorite. That's our thing. That's what we do. We could travel to other places, sure, but we're basic. <laughs> what do you want to say? It works for us. Find what works for you. Grab it because before you know it, it's gone. And I and my children are not getting any younger. So we want to we wanna really have these memories to look back on. Wow, th that was a lot. Uh, I wasn't expecting to say this much on the video today, but it's been a while since I've chatted with you in a more candid way. Yeah, lots happened over the last months. Oh, Jesus. Uh, my wife, who, who's had some complications over the last year or two, it's been very rocky. She's very well. Things are going good. We had a trip to Minnesota to the Mayo Clinic. Everything's pointing solid. So yeah, nothing, nothing major on that front. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, supporting the channel. I got fun stuff coming up and I'm sure Netflix has plenty of good stuff coming up too for me to watch and review. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.